What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and the reaction to Zack Snyder's Justice League for so many people, whether they cared about the Snyderverse before or after they saw this movie, has been to look back at the DCEU and potentially to the future and say what could we have had and what could still come if they do restore some of Zack Snyder's original visions. And in addition to the Justice League 2 and 3 that so many people are calling for after the Snyder Cut, one of the things that people were really invested in and interested in was Ben Affleck's Batman solo movie, including Deathstroke. And Joe Manganiello, the actor who plays Deathstroke, is very much interested in reprising his role as Deathstroke in future DC movies. He is now giving us a little bit of insight into what this movie would have entailed, and it was kind of a shocker for a lot of us. This is the first time we heard anything like this. Take a look at the headline. Ben Affleck's Batman movie featured Batgirl versus Deathstroke in Final Battle. And that is the first time we have heard anything with Batgirl connected to this potential Ben Affleck solo movie that we were talking about. The introduction of Batgirl was a real surprise when we heard Joe Manganiello talk about this, and I really want you to listen to it from him. Now, he dropped this on, uh, I think, comicbook.com uh, on their YouTube channel, but let's hear from the man himself. Uh, uh, you know, and there was like a big, huge showdown, I think, between it was like Batgirl, Batgirl jumps in to try to help Bruce because Deathstroke is so fast that uh, he can anticipate Bruce's movements. And there was this huge fight in Gotham City um, where, where Batman is like, you know, uh, completely afraid because he realizes he's, he's met someone who can take him. And um, and then that leads to this big climactic battle through the streets of Gotham City at the end. But um, but it, yeah, it was like a real like psychological thriller where Deathstroke was kind of like a he was like a horror movie villain, you know, or like a shark, you know, kind of like like Jaws. Uh, a psychological thriller with Deathstroke as the villain. And when you watch Zack Snyder's Justice League, the restored version at the end, it makes it very clear that that was setting up, just like Joe has said many times, and like Snyder has said many times that that was supposed to set up the Ben Affleck solo movie. That was the purpose of that scene. And it is very clear that Deathstroke has some sort of score to settle with Batman. It would have been nice to see all that history and maybe, potentially, you never know what the future may hold with HBO Max and if enough fans ask for it. But the idea that Batgirl jumps in to help Ben Affleck in the, well, to help Batman in this fight against Deathstroke is something that kind of sent uh, shockwaves through a lot of people when they heard that. That was was the first time. We haven't really heard too much about Batgirl in the DCEU other than the Titans appearance coming in season three since Joss Whedon was supposed to be working on that project. Obviously, I don't think that's going to happen anytime in the near future. I don't think Joss Whedon is going to be involved with any DC projects going forward. I don't think the fans would like that, and I don't think anybody at Warner Brothers really wants that to happen either, based off of the what happened in the fallout from Justice League, not only the movie's performance, but also all of the Ray Fisher and all the Gal Gadot things that are obviously out there. What do you guys think about this, though? I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I would love to see that. I would love to see different Bat family members getting in the action in uh, in this awesome solo. Well, I guess it wouldn't be solo if you brought in the rest of the Bat family. But in this Ben Affleck Batman movie, which could potentially have a future on HBO Max as a series... You know, there's always hope. You never know what can happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.